Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the show. Our next guest was just telling a dirty, dirty little secret. She's not watching the hockey no, game. No, it was a secret. Is that a secret? Well, I don't know. Everyone's going to hate me now. I'm going to get hate mail and stuff Joanna like that. Ward, host of The Express. Uh, <laughs> you, I, I will jump to your defense. You are like my wife. She doesn't, she's like, me. Like, yeah. she cares, but she doesn't care. I want to win, time. and I know we will win, and I'm, you know, I yeah. think you look very stylish, you know. <laughs> but, um, but it's Joe, just not, I don't even look, I look, it's I look not stylish. Your passion, but I understand yeah. that. As long as you're not cheering for the Bruins, no, 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 I'm no, all right no. with that. And I'm cheering, and, you know, I live downtown, and I love, I always know when we scored, of course, I just listen, yeah. and I keep the window open, it's good. And you're then still, the horns honk yeah. for I've got a few hours. friends yes. who have actually Shoot. talked about that, and how yeah. fun it is when they do score a goal, the atmosphere, and it just, everything... People put horns out their windows, yeah. and that's I live kind of on fun. Davy Street too, so it's a bit rowdy anyway. Yeah. And so this time of year, so it's just extra. <laughs> Lots of fun. Okay, yeah. we've got so much no. to talk <laughs> about. Uh, and before we talk, I'm going to jump ahead to Cirque du Soleil because you have oh, a little no. foot injury. Oh yes. What happened? Um, I just had a bit of an incident on the trampoline. With a <laughs> performer. I know. If you're going to have a sore toe, it may as well be. At least a you've trampoline got a story. Incident. I do. I have a great story. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we caught it on camera, but it's really just my fault. I we were trying to you know, work a shot and instead I foolishly was like, yeah, I can stand on the trampoline while you jump and I'll be fine. And he's doing flips and things and I'm like, I wasn't fine. And uh, how is your toe? <laughs> I, I kind of want to look at it because it's pretty oh, gross. Joe. Can we look at we it, didn't please? Bring I knew you were maybe, okay. Okay. Ready? But can look we, at yeah, the, look we at take the a shot? shoes that yeah. she's put on. I know. Well, this is, this is called Forbes toughing moment. it out, people. Okay. Look at that yeah. toe. Yeah. Johanna, that's Wait, sucker. I don't know. Point gonna... it that way. I don't want to touch it because I don't want to. I know, it's kind of gross. I don't know if I'll get this shoe back on, is the only oh, thing. It's okay. Dude. Nobody's looking at your feet. Yeah. It's all I good. love that you tried that. <laughs> well, it was fun, yeah. And um, for all the foot fetishists yeah. in our audience yeah. as well. That I was love the shoes, though. So. Okay, let's get back to what we're supposed to be yeah. talking about. You were on a high wire yeah, or something. Great. What were you doing? Um, well, I was at Wild Plain Maple Ridge, which I've been wanting to go to. It's been there for about a year, and I've been wanting to. It's been on the island for a long time. <laughs> wanting to for quite a while. This Turns was pre broken yeah. toe. Yeah, and it turns out I'm a little afraid of heights. <laughs> no, I'm totally afraid of heights. I hear you. Yeah. And so, well, you know, and, and so I'm going along, right? It's this, this guy here, and, and he's helping me out, and then. Yeah. He looks pretty bored with helping He's you. He's pretty Johanna. bored, I know. Um, and yeah. <laughs> How high were you? Five feet, four feet? Ten feet. And you had and, all, you know when you're shorter, ten yeah, feet seems really it high. It becomes it's it's not like you don't know. It's not like you can just step. You guys, on those I'm long taller. I have further to fall. I never thought of it that if way. If I fell on my head. Oh yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that's if you don't put those long. Okay, legs and Cirque du Soleil uh, is in Abbotsford. It's usually downtown, but uh, what's happening this Abbotsford year? Abbotsford Entertainment and Sports Center ends, which is actually a really amazing venue for it. Yeah. And they brought in, you know, because they're doing the arena shows now, which is kind of this new thing. First time with this arena show, it's called Dralion, and it's pretty amazing. Um, you are so brave you, for the stuff I do. <laughs> you do. It's amazing. Well, wouldn't you do it too, though, if that guy was helping you? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honest. Let's be honest. Okay, well, not no splattering shot. There yeah. you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoa, he's a muscular dude. He, eh? Yeah, he's just super cut. That's what it was supposed to look like there that moment. So you, wow. got, you got really close to that. I uh, did, yeah. And here's a show. Look at it. It's amazing. So dra dra how do I Dralion. It's like a Dralion. dragon and a lion. It's a liger. Yeah, see? So Remember is it typical Cirque stuff or a little more arty or is there lots of acrobatics in this Lots one? of acrobatics and it's basically, I guess, the first time they've kind of delved into the Eastern philosophy. So Chinese acrobatics merged with their like um, cool. traditional Cirque stuff, which is pretty, yeah, it just looks amazing. So it's in Abbotsford <laughs> oh this weekend. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Just until, uh, I guess it starts tomorrow. It goes through till Sunday, there's seven shows. Yeah. Then it goes to Oregon, and then it goes to Victoria. So Very well, and I think this is it. a brilliant thing for them to be doing. And you know from your show as well, because you guys travel all over yeah. the place. Uh, what a vibrant city this is outside of you know that <laughs> traditional downtown yeah. core. And to take it to you know those areas where people really want to see it. As yeah. Well as well. Are you, the, you mean the Fraser Valley? Is that the? Well, area? no. I just <laughs> I think people for, when you live downtown, you have yeah. a tendency to kind of it's forget what an incredible I city. Mm -hmm. I know. What highway do you take to get to Abbotsford? Oh, dude, <laughs> that's really mean. Uh, highway one? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Good. I know that. I've been on that highway. Okay, so uh, also the Children's Festival, which yeah. unfortunately can't win with the weather yeah, no matter what cool. time of year they move it.
it too. That's true. Not that bad though today. We were there this morning and it's actually pretty beautiful out today. It's kind of awesome. So this is a new show. So they've moved it to Granville Island. Right? Yep. So now it's at Granville Island, first time in 34 years. And so the Aquabus has a show called Pirate's it's Cove. Just been it's running, so you can get on it, and it goes out on the water, and they take you to it. Mike, I'm surprised you're not on that. You're kidding me. Well, it's such a funny idea because they have the small venues as part of the Fringe yeah. Festival now, and it's gone over so well. So to do that for the kids as well, yeah. right? How much fun Pretty is that cool. when you're a kid and yeah. you're on the little ferry and yeah. people are fighting with swords? It's fun. Hi, we won! Yeah. No, we don't have footage for you of this, but we were shooting it today, and so I do have to tell you, because it's an amazing show, so if you're going to see anything there, this is the one I just watched, was Step Africa. So it's all step dancing, a uh, cast of 11 people. They're touring. They're from D.C., but they're touring all over the world, and it was just amazing. So it's really about cultural stuff, but also just step oh, dancing, cool. which is crazy, crazy fun. cool. And go-karting. Like yeah. On so, a different note. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> which is actually it's part of the same. So all this stuff is part of our uh, uh, kids' activity special we're doing, and... Um, Stuff that kids can do even once the Children's Festival is done. And go-karting, this is kind of a cool story that Where is one this? of our newest... This is in Richmond. Nice. I've never been there before. Michael, go -karting. which yeah. highway do you take to get to yeah. Richmond? Well, Fiona, yeah. you have a couple of options. You can take the Oak Street Bridge or you can take the Granville. And, you know, it yeah. just depends where you want to go in Richmond. Because that's where the... Yeah, the airport's there, right? You know that one? <laughs> it goes through the airport. <laughs> you know we're being... There. I know this city. <laughs> Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, and let's so move cool. on uh, to some other stuff you're doing. You're hoping to be able to wear your high heels because uh, you're you guys are going to be at the ITM Model Gala. Yeah, that's tomorrow night, and that's at the River Rock. And so there's a bunch of models. They've been going through this professional development for like six weeks or something. So they do everything. They do workshops, and they probably learn how to walk and heels. You know, type heels. <laughs> and uh, yeah, maybe they can give me some advice, or if you have any for me, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Just like, grin and fine, bear it, baby. Yeah. Well, I know, Cost Joe, when uh, when I interview interview most models, they tower over me. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. That's and the tall heels. Speaking of tall, the tall yeah. ships are coming back? Yeah, they're back in Vancouver. Well, in Richmond, actually. Steve Stinn, yep. you know where that is? Uh, yes, that's uh, <laughs> one of the oldest communities in the Lower Mainland, good, actually. Yeah. It was community. the heart of our fishing community. Very good, yeah. Anything else you'd like to know about Steve's? No, some, some restaurant fish recommendations? Fish and chips, yeah, definitely. Fish and chips are yeah. excellent. Yeah. Yes. Good canneries there. Yeah, Thank so the you. tall ships are coming back. They, uh, I guess they sail in on Friday, so we're going to be taping there on location if anyone's in Steve's. And they're and beautiful. They say hi. Yeah. yeah, it should be pretty fun. Really cool. And, and the relay guys, for life, money, last but not least. Yeah, and so that's a big one that's been happening all around. Langley happened last weekend, I believe. Coquitlam's this weekend. And, and we'll be Michael, there, Shaw on site. Which highway do you take to get to Coquitlam? Uh, oh, well, <laughs> I, I don't it. even know. Coquitlam. No, 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 Is it dude. Barnett? I you can just, Barnett? yeah, you can go. Barnett take you through. Yeah, you go along Broadway and it turns into Barnett Highway. And Does it? I, I, I thought it turned into Lowheed. There's I, two highways to get there. Yeah! yeah. We don't know what they yeah. are, but just given her. Barnett. The Express airs on Shaw TV <laughs> where you can see the lovely and talented Johanna with all the, the stories team. that we yep. were speaking about today. Mm -hmm. And Thanks the whole so. big team of reporters too that work so hard and, and will be able and to get you there. you guys have fun. Yeah, we do have fun. And they know the highways better than anyone. <laughs> better than anybody. In case you want to call next time. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, apparently I'm going to be doing an internship with the Express. <laughs> You're going to be their new driver. Future. We're going to take a break.